welcome to the Nashville City Cemetery, Nashville's best kept historical secret. I'm going to take a few minutes to give you a brief tour of the cemetery, hoping that you will come and visit it again. The city cemetery is a property of Metropolitan Nashville Davidson County government, and it is under the auspices of the Metropolitan Historical Commission, which keeps all of the cemetery records, as well as Metro Parks, who maintains the cemetery and keeps it looking so beautiful. I encourage you to come out here and take a walk. It's a beautiful place to walk, ride your bike or push a stroller. Today, we're going to have a look at just a few of the important things to know about this cemetery. I am standing in front of a gravestone that has a great legend. This cemetery not only is filled with history, it also has a few legends and maybe even a few ghosts somewhere along the way. site of the founders of Nashville, two of them anyway, James and Charlotte Robertson. What intrepid and daring people they were to come into the unknown and plant a settlement here. They have lots of stories. There are lots of family members here. So be sure and take a tour of this spot and do a little research when you finish and you'll be fascinated by their story. of Metro government, but it has recently had a major capital improvement and we're very fortunate and grateful to former Mayor Bill Purcell for including upgrading the cemetery and preserving it uh, for the city of Nashville. As you see here, we are in the middle of a developed area. We have downtown on one side and we have a neighborhood that is really being developed re very rapidly with high density housing in it. And so here we are fortunate to have this green space here for the people who are going to be moving into this neighborhood as well as for all citizens, including those who visit Nashville coming to the Music City Center for a convention or meeting and can walk here to the cemetery and take a pleasant quiet walk themselves. I am facing the grave of William Driver. William Driver is another one of these characters buried at the cemetery. He is historically accurate. He was from Salem, Massachusetts, named the American flag Old Glory when he was a sailor. His mother had made him this flag. And then when he moved to Nashville, he brought the flag with him and he is buried here in the Nashville City Cemetery. In December 1864, the Battle of Nashville took place. Fort Negley, a Union outpost, was here beyond the boundaries of the cemetery, and thousands of soldiers who were killed in the battle were brought here to the cemetery and buried. This marker is the grave of White Turpin, a young man from Mississippi who was killed in the Battle of Nashville just five months before the end of the Civil War. His mother put this monument up here to mark his grave. Although it may 
they seen that this part of the cemetery has lots of empty space? Actually, there are many, many African Americans and others buried in this part of the cemetery. The city cemetery is somewhat unique from other southern cemeteries in that it was integrated from the beginning. Yes, separate but equal. And so we have, for example, this monument here of the Reverend Nelson Mary. We have two of the Fisk Jubilee singers buried in this part of the cemetery. Ella Shepherd buried behind me, and ahead of me is the grave of Mabel Imes. The Fisk Jubilee singers often come out here on Jubilee Day in October, lay a wreath on the singers' graves, and sing as a tribute to the original Jubilee singers. Stones. We had a lot of damage from trees uh, back in March, and they have all been cleaned up thanks to our Metro Parks Department, who takes such good care of this cemetery. We have all manner of plantings out here now, again, thanks to friends of the cemetery raising funds through their cemetery tours and planting these beautiful trees. The light fixtures make this a magnificent place to come and take the tour, which is at twilight. It is a lovely place to visit our city. We have a good number of Metro mayors buried here, as well as people from all manner of walks of life. An interesting thing to note about the cemetery is the number of unmarked graves here in the cemetery. Many of the people buried here, more than half, are estimated to be children who died in one epidemic or another during the early days of Nashville, and even in a few cases up into the 20th century. one of the most recent new gravestones added to the city cemetery in memory of Mayor Richard Fulton. It is a, a place where many mayors of the city are, are buried, including almost all of the mayors of Nashville, the city of Nashville, before the Civil War. A question that I as county historian and often ask is, are there still spots in the cemetery where I could get buried? And I will tell you that yes, indeed, there from time to time our lots are for sale and some uh, there may be in fact some just completely vacant lots. So for more information about the cemetery, if you think your relatives are buried here, call the Metropolitan Nashville Davidson County Historical Commission. And if you want to get in contact with me, the county historian, they will have the link to my email address and I will be happy to hear from you.